Up until 2009, my life had been like a real bad country song where women were concerned. Hadn't had much luck with them. We met on the bike. I was a bike rider. I could barely ride 20 miles without my legs being gassed. Roxanne is known as the Energizer Bunny amongst our cycling friends. Every year she does this ride called the Assault on Mount Mitchell. It's a ride that starts in Spartanburg, South Carolina and goes to the top of Mount Mitchell just, in, in, just outside of Asheville, North Carolina. In November, she came to me and asked me, hey honey, you gonna go do the ride with me in May? Nope, sorry, ain't gonna happen. I'm not gonna haul 240 pounds across 103 miles with 11 and a half thousand feet of climbing. That's probably gonna take me in the neighborhood of seven and a half to eight hours to accomplish just ain't gonna happen. See, I was that guy that had been up at 2.30 in the morning watching Tony Horton talk about how great Power 90 was and how great it's gonna make you feel and how great it's gonna make you look. I ordered it, I lost some weight, I gained some weight, I lost some weight. Life got in the way, excuses were easy. And then I got to thinking, I really miss being with rocks. Why else did I marry this amazing kick-ass woman? But to spend time with her. So in November, she came to me and said, AOMM registration's open again. Are you going to do the ride with me, Jack? Yes, I'm going to do it. So I registered, hired a cycling coach to get in cycling shape. All that changed January 2nd. Bam! Exploded my ankle in a hockey boot. Doctor told me it's going to be a year before I can skate, and it's going to be eight months before I can even ride my bike again. No AOMM this year. Two weeks after that, Roxanne is driving me to Concord, North Carolina, to Carolina's Medical Center. She's taking me to see my mother, Helen, who's in a diabetic coma. Mama didn't go home. A scene very similar to that had played out 15 years before with my father. He had two strokes in a three month period of time. He didn't go home from the second one. Two weeks after that, I'm on my bike spinning. Three weeks after that, I'm still spinning, but now I'm doing P90X2 every single day. We get to the start of the ride. It's a cold morning. We take off. Roxanne passes me in the last 10 miles of the hill. When I get there, I make that final right hand turn up the hill to the finish line. I can see the clock. There's Roxanne waving her cowbell. Go Jack, go Jack, go Jack. I cross the finish line. She comes over. I'm dead spent. She wraps her arms around me. I hadn't let Rox down. Who are you letting down? See, your health isn't yours, just like my health isn't mine. My health belongs to Roxanne. It belongs to my loved ones, just like your health belongs to your loved ones. Let me help you find your assault on Mount Mitchell so that you can be there for the people that love you today and to the people that you haven't even met yet.